our T levels, as men generally speaking, has been getting lower and lower over the decades. Hey guys, I'm Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic, and today I want to talk to you about endocrine disruptors. So, what is our endocrine system? All right, well, that's our system that makes all of our hormones, and it's Guys, it's super complicated. It is way, way above my pay grade. So I'm just going to be able to talk about just a little tiny portion of it today because that's all <laughs> that's all I understand. And that's our testosterone level. So, you know, your body makes tons of dis different hormones and, and we do make estrogen as men. So there's there's all these different organs scattered around our body. And these organs are responsible for reducing different hormones. And those hormones circulate through our blood and then the other organs in our body see what's going on and that ramps up or lowers the amount of hormones that organ produces. And it gets crazy complicated, guys. Uh, and like I said, it's way above my head. But the most important thing for us as men is our testosterone levels. And you've heard me talk about, about this over and over before. And our T levels are really responsible for our ability to put on muscle and lose fat. Most guys don't realize it. Most guys think it's just kind of a bodybuilding type hormone, and it's not. The, the higher our T levels are, the more easy it is for our body to use fat as a source of energy, to metabolize, all right? And so that's why if you have low hormone or low T levels, it, it, it's really hard to lose body fat, all right? And there's an organ right here in your brain, your hypothalamus. And that is kind of like the master organ that sends signals to all the other organs around your body to, to ramp up or lower the production of the different hormones. And guys, if you haven't heard this already or haven't read uh, in the last few years, um, our T levels, as men generally speaking, has been getting lower and lower over the decades. And there is a lot of, a lot of uh, speculation, there's been some scientific studies that say that they think that's occurring because of all these endocrine disruptors, things in our environment that didn't used to be here 50, 60, 80 years ago, okay? Chemicals being a big one. So there's lots of things that can get into our body that can disrupt our endocrine system and screw up our hormones. And a lot, of, a lot of studies think plastics have something to do with it. Uh, some studies point to pesticides and herbicides that are used on all of our foods. Uh, some people say it's hormones being injected into the animals that we eat, the, the cows and the chickens, to make them grow faster and grow bigger, okay? There's lots of things that can, that can affect our hormone system because from what I understand, and I'm no expert, it's, it's pretty sensitive, okay? So we can eat things that can screw up our endocrine system. We can get things on our skin that can screw up our endocrine system. We can put things in our mouth, not necessarily eat them, but, but like toothpaste and, and mouthwash and swish them around and spit them out. And that gets absorbed through the lining of our mouth and that can screw up our endocrine system. So there's lots of things, okay? And just one thing I just wanna mention guys, and the, and the reason I like mentioning uh, this company is because they're products that we're going to be buying anyway, okay? It, it's a company called Legendary Men's Care, and they have a toothpaste that I use, and it, first of all, it tastes fantastic. But secondly, the whole reason this company is in existence is because they're going out of their way to create products that don't mess up our endocrine system, don't hurt our T-levels, okay? And so they've come out with a shampoo now. And, you know, just like everything else I was talking about, some things get absorbed through your skin, shampoo all over your head, your scalp, okay? And shampoo is something you, got, you guys are going to buy anyway. So I highly recommend you at least give it a try. Click the link below this video. Um, this company has a 100% money-back guarantee. If you don't like it, if you don't like the toothpaste, if you don't like the shampoo, just let them know. All right, you, don't even, you do not have to mail the bottle back, okay? It's just a simple email, and they will refund your, your money. So, guys, there's lots of things in our environment that are kind of messing with us, and it's, it's hard to avoid them, 
okay? It really is. I mean, I drink a lot of water out of plastic bottles, all right? There's just no way I can get around that, all right? I love this carbonated water, but it only comes in plastic bottles, all right? But I can avoid some things real easily, and that includes my toothpaste and the shampoo I'm using, all right? And it's not something extra I have to buy on top of my normal <laughs> stuff. I'm going to be buying shampoo anyway. Why not just change brands and just see how I like it? And I recommend you guys give it a try too. So click the link below this video. Give it a try. If you don't like it, no big deal. You can get your money back. And then, it, and then along the same veins, this is a big topic, guys. So I'm not going to I'm not going to spend another hour and a half talking about it here. So what you can do to help arm yourself with the knowledge, Google it. Just simply Google, type in, you know, how do I raise T levels or what, what is causing my T levels to decline? Just type in some, a simple sentence in Google and there are just going to be hundreds of articles pop up and you guys can just kind of peruse through them. You don't have to become an expert, all right, but just kind of peruse through them and just, and just glean a few of the more important things off the top of some of these articles and that will go a long way to helping yourself basically maximize the good hormones that we want, the testosterone, and minimize the hormone that we don't want, the estrogen. And guys, you can't just do it occasionally. You got to stick with it and never give up on yourself.